What is the role of industry and community partners in experiential learning? Experiential education programs can link students' academic and professional goals, and industry and community partners play an important role in helping students meet those goals. With their participation, these partners help ensure that students have the opportunity to build knowledge and skills in an environment that adheres to both institutional and governmental guidelines. Moreover, this environment fulfills learning outcomes for the student, the course, the program, and the institution. In turn, Industry and community partners also benefit from this mentoring exchange in working closely with students who bring fresh ideas and curiosity. You know, I think um, there's certainly uh, mentorship. Um, and I, you know, I hear from a lot of students, they come in, um, they're putting in a placement, uh, they're putting that co-op, um, and, and they're left on their own. Um, so I think being, uh, being a mentor to the student. You know, listen to the students as well. I think. Uh, Students don't get a lot of credit for what they bring to the table. Um, so I think it's Im important for employers, um, you know, to be open uh, to that dialogue and that engagement for the student and uh, maybe just listen to what it is they have to say. Encouraging that, that buy-in, I think, is just a matter of just clearly showing what those benefits are. And, and I think those benefits are, are coming in the form of new perspective, new ideas, incredibly competent and uh, and, and passionate students or, or young people that want to, to form those connections uh, to, to the broader world, right? To their own values, to their own ideas, and, and, and how, do they, how do they make that bridge between a learning environment and their work environment, and sometimes their own personal environment and their social environment. You know, these are all much more interconnected, I think, in this generation and, and, and going forward than they maybe have been in the past. I think when something's not going well, sometimes it's just that, maybe that connection of, of understanding. And I think it's just an issue of going and talking with the students. I've had that opportunity here. Um, and the student told me, you know, afterwards, I said, they says, yeah, I know I didn't do so well here on this one specific task. And I said, that's fine, that's great. That's why I'm here, that's what we're talking. Let's, let's build up, what can we do next time so that you do do better, that you can go and you can do that. And guess what? I found another opportunity within a month to put the student in the same kind of situation. And this time they were so proud when they came out of it. Yeah, we, we did this and this and we covered it and, and we nailed it. But I think with counseling and dedication, it, it, you know, people are open to change and that's another great thing about students. The students are open to feedback it's not always easy. They learning feedback the first time, usually some of them, uh, feedback from a professional standpoint. But they're open to it and then they act upon it. And that's really, you know, again, one of the qualities we look for is taking that feedback and acting and being quality, you know, making that change on. If I didn't like it, I would have stopped after first co-op. It's, it's always, it's, it's a great experience in the sense that it's also great for us because for me, or even the kids working with us, it's, we are a small company. We don't have too many people to manage people, so it's, it's, it's a situation that where we have students actually taking over some leadership of new co-op students and kind of getting ex used to managing a small team or even just one person, which is a great experience for us.